Hi, my name is Terry Papabonos. I'm an infectious disease specialist working in the Division of Infectious Diseases and HIV Medicine and I'm the lead in the Infection Prevention and Control Team at Kruvitsky Hospital. Today I'm going to show you how to put up a drip um, and prevent a needle stick injury. I'm not going to show you the actual process of putting up a drip in a sterile manner that you can go to um, the GSH Infectious Diseases YouTube video and you can watch uh, the video over there on how to insert a drip in a sterile manner. Okay, so um, I've already obtained permission from the patient, I've done my hand hygiene, I've draped the area, I've cleaned the area, I've got my tourniquet on, I've set up my equipment over here and I'll take you through the process of, of uh, preventing needle stick injuries. Okay, so um, importantly I'm not going to touch the area that I've just cleaned and I'm not going to insert my hand at the top and then go in with the needle because there's a risk that you're going to prick yourself um, if the patient moves. So what I do is I anchor the vein and then I insert my needle and I advance the cannula through. I release my tourniquet and then apply pressure and remove the needle. Now what's important is I don't leave it lying on the side here. I don't put, prick it into the bed. Um, I throw it directly into the sharps container. If you leave it in the bed you might forget it and someone comes and changes the sheets and then pricks themselves and then also putting blood into a patient's bed is not ideal from an infection prevention prevention uh, point of view so please just as soon as you take out the the needle just discard it directly into the sharps container and as you can see my sharps container is right next to me um, and and also it's very important when you're doing the procedure that you you're concentrating on the procedure uh, while doing this because you don't want to um, especially in a recess situation where you there's a lot of people around and then you turn and then you prick your colleague so do keep that in mind and then what I'm going to do is um, insert the short line and I'm not going to go through the rest of the procedure but you're then going to put your upside over clean area etc just to go back to the needles and the, the drips so um, as you can see on this one over here, it's quite nice in the sense that it does have a sheath, a metal sheath at the tip, which prevents you from getting a needle stick injury. You might not have this in the hospital that you work at. So please don't try and recap your needles like that. I have seen um, some, some um, plastic sheaths that are actually shorter than the needle. And then what inevitably happens is someone puts their finger over here and the needle is longer than the, um, the plastic sheath and then they prick themselves. So please don't ever recap your needles. Just discard them directly into um, the sharps container which is next to you. Okay, importantly um, to keep in mind is your sharps container, there's the do not fill above line. So please make sure that your, your needles and syringes are not above you because obviously if, if things and needles etc or poking out there's a risk that you going to prick yourself so please if that is the case please go to the person in charge of the ward and ask them for a clean one and um, please make sure it is directly next to you so that you don't have to walk around the ward with the needle and um, just directly throw your needle into um, the, the the sharps container and um, obviously you've cleaned the area and you're going to thank your patient and do your hand hygiene again and that's how you prevent a needle stick injury thank you